Hello, <coughs> hello everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, we are here in Messaville again. Yes, we are. We reside here because Portia won't pull up to save her life. To save her life. But we're going to just go back. We're going to go back way, way on back then. Or when, okay? When we had Fallon. Loving on Simon for some ungodly reason. Maybe it was love. Maybe it was money. Then we have Portia in the same strange positions. You see how they mimic one another? But Fallon did it first, of course. You got this little nice picture of them. Little portrayal of a picture of a happy couple. You know, happy-go-lucky. Then you got this picture that kind of seems like the same aesthetics. The same opticals. All right, you got that happy-go-lucky on the rented plane uh, that he's sashaying Portia around in. And you got a similar pose that she's supposed to be her protector, her guardian, her gatekeeper. All righty, we got this nice little picture at their new little house. I'm thinking is where it is. I'm not really sure. Um, and then you have this picture of Fallon. Same pose. Where is Portia thinking? Where is she getting her ideas? Because right now, that's what you really look like. Worried, sick, tired, and boo. What are you going to do with yourself, Portia? Just what are you going to do? Alright, you have gotten yourself in a fair pickle of a situation. And you're too prideful to let yourself know and everybody else that you don't fucked up. Pretty much, okay? You don't know, elf up the whole game. Or whatever you were trying to do. Okay? To secure your billionaire fiancé, boyfriend, husband, however you look at them. But the YouTube streets are talking, girl. They are at a blaze. Because a new situation has developed. And they're saying that you have given Simon permission to change your name. <laughs> <laughs> what a travesty what a debacle meant what a horror okay for one are you gonna start dressing differently or are you gonna still be showing your assets that you like to show is that gonna be presentable i mean you were befriending this person on a show or this is the pictorial you're trying to give us. That you all guys were friends. Okay. Even though you say now she's not your friend. But you have her ex-husband. Okay. So I'm like who cheated who Simon. Who was cheating on who. Okay. But we have this distinguished gentleman. That he's trying to play the part of a distinguished man. And Portia is eating it all up. Like she don't score big time. She don't hit the big time club but i'm pretty sure fallon thought she did too remember that he didn't hesitate on marrying her he didn't hesitate on cheating on her with you portia because your cousin even came out and said licky 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 who comes to cook it she's supposed to be the home worker the one that came in and disturbed a, a marriage that was already fragile at its core Yep, we're in straight Messaville. And we'll reside here until, I guess, they get married. If that's anything that's will come true. And if it does come true, I'm still saying, why? Why? Because <laughs> if Fallon cheated, you can call her a cheater. But really, all three of them cheats. Now, how is that going to be solidified on a firm foundation of a relationship? All three of them have cheated. All right. Portia demanded after she broke up the marriage, allegedly, to for him to put a ring on it. He still ain't put a ring on it. He put a friendship ring. He put an engagement ring. But I don't see no wedding band with a marriage certificate. Okay. We see the uh, yellow carrot rock or whatever she got going on. And Fallon had one similar to that as well. Couldn't find a picture. But no, nope, Simon did not put Fallon's name on his body. But he thought he would take a chance and put Portia's name on his body. I don't think that was a smart move. But hey, she put his name 
above her earlobe in the back of her neck. So I guess he was playing it forward and thought he would get his name tatted or her name tatted on his body. Now, of course, all the infidelity that she did at that first house that uh, Fallon was living in, of course, she wanted to uh, quick, fast, and a hurry move. She wanted to, you know, relocate, get her own little digs and say, the springs out here. Uh, and she called herself shopping. She calls, her now, ha- she calls herself now shopping for their new home, a home that does not have her name on it. Kind of sound familiar because I think Cordell Stewart, her first husband, did the same shit to her. But she's happy-go-lucky. She's on uh, her Instagram page on a Sunday, happy day, sunny day. And she's thinking about all the things that she's going to be accustomed to. Okay. I still see her as somebody single and she's ready to mingle because of how she gets down in these social media streets okay because she definitely have been without simon a few times and i don't know if they were having trouble but she was calling herself at the super bowl and she was doing her own thing okay just recently went to a concert but here we go tit for tat again beautiful car simon allegedly had gifted her and i think it's true because a lot of my family members were telling me that it was true then he turned around gifted uh portia the same style car different color so who's zooming who i mean who's trying to keep up with who you would think all right i'm like portia she did it better and where's it better girl and she's slimmer I've been noticing you've been trying to thin down a little bit more. And I'm like, okay, why? (laughs) Are you trying to mimic Fallon as well? And I heard Fallon went over on her Instagram account. And she's postponed her wedding because of COVID and because of she wanting her family to be around her for uh, the magnificent, extraordinary uh, wedding that she's trying to promote and put out so I'm like okay if that means Portia and Simon's going to pump their brakes as well even though they said that Portia's family had come to the conclusion that they gave them a set date and time that they would get married but Portia's over here looking at outdoor furniture now pardon me okay pardon me <laughs> but don't did y'all see my last video I did with Simon going around taking photos of the house that they stay in? That's plenty of outdoor furniture. So what the hell is Portia buying more furniture for? She's going to get rid of it? I mean, it's these lies on top of lies on top of lies again. All right. And why are you drinking so early in the morning? Why are you drinking on a Sunday morning? Is that your cocktail of choice to get you started? You tell me. And Portia, you need to leave them wigs alone because it seems like you're thinning on the side of your head. You ain't trying to let us get a good close view of it. But it seems like you are thinning around your edges, honey. So I'm about like, uh, Simon, you need to leave that shit alone. And wear your real hair until some stuff start growing back. But I'm pretty sure you got perm in your hair. But you don't really need the perm. You need that afro, girl. You need to go natural. But, hey, that's just me. That's just my thoughts. But why are you showing your boobs so much? Why are you showing the camera your boobs? See, that's not, to me, that's not a lady that's ready to settle down, ready to be conservative, and ready to live a married life. So I'm asking Portia. Are you single, baby? Is that something you want to be? Because to me, you're just playing a game. You're playing a serious game that it's going to have consequences. And Dennis already told us when you fall, you fall hard. So I don't know if he's saying you go into a deep depression. You, you just cut up a little bit more. You start throwing things or acting out your normal character. I don't know. But Dennis did give us that warning that when you hit rock bottom, you go berserko. All right. But again, I don't think Simon nor Fallon waited as long as Simon got you waiting. 
I mean, are you ready to be a conservative looking woman for Simon? Are you ready to wear dresses like that? Are you still thinking you're going to be wearing all this see through, uh, skin tight, uh, no, not so much material to your wardrobes? I mean, did you consult Santa Claus Girl about should you be changing your name? Getting to getting into a marriage with a man and a culture you know nothing about. Did you confront Santa Claus, girl? I would have had a conversation with Santa Claus to say, "Has Simon been naughty or nice? I need to know. I need to know, Santa, because you know who's been naughty, who's been nice. All right, who's going to get a, a coal in their stockings and who's going to get presents? Did you consult with PJ?" Did you consult PJ how this marriage and renaming of your name is going to affect her? Did you check with any of your family members, your grandmama, your mama, your, I guess, stepmama? I don't know. Did you check with your brother and his wife? Did you check with your sister Lauren? Did you have any type of conversation with anybody? And I don't know, to me, if my daughter wanted to get an African name and she knew nothing about the culture and this, that, and the third, I would feel that's a slap in the face. Because your mama named you Portia for a reason. And now you're going to let a man whom we call Dirty Simon, some of us, and I, some of us like myself, I call him all the time. Why would you want to change your name when you don't know anything about the culture? You don't know how that solidifies you into your state of marriage. You know, you saying, ooh, he's saying you're a gift from God or whatever. It's a lot of names out there that can say the same thing. But that don't mean you staple that on a piece of paper and say, this is what you're going to call me. Because poor PJ know you as Mama and Portia. Okay? Now you're going to give her... An unidentified name. And then Simon may be wanting you to tell little PJ to call you that name. Is that fair on the child, Portia? When everybody else is going around calling you Portia? And it don't seem like you had a type of family that's going to sit there and call you your new name. Just because your so-called boyfriend told you this is what he wants to name you. I'm like, did he have you? Did you get reborn out of his body? And he decided to name you a second time, a go around? I mean, I understand. If you knew about the culture, you knew everything about their customs, their traditions, their rituals, all of this thing. And you were okay with it. Because it's almost like you're getting indoctrinated into another culture and you know nothing about it. Only thing, you just like, ah. Uh, I mean, did you consult with Nene? She stayed in an African too, but she's stupid as well. So, stupid is a stupid does. So, we're going to just cancel her out. But it seems to me, it's like you're getting back into a controlling type of relationship where you're not voicing your opinions and your opinion matters to the man. Because if it did, he would have already married you by now. You more than likely would have been uh asked to come on the trip that simon took before you you know you came in un uh, uh unannounced okay you just came up on the scene okay and didn't nobody too much know about simon when you were having your show Porsche's family matters they didn't really know him then they knew you were going to be his fourth wife if y'all got serious and went went on through it but i don't even think the mama like you and if Quietus has kept lies, I'm going to speak it out. I don't think the whole town of Benin cares for you. All right? Because you were making some uh, false statements about their culture when you were trying to explain it to uh, interviewers you were going on when you were um, showcasing your book that Simon never traveled with you with. Provided any security for you. So, I don't know. But if it was my daughter, I would feel like you don't know enough about that man, that culture. I suggest you do your research. You really see what the renaming process is totally about. And then, if you can come back and explain it to me, and we have a deep conversation about it, I might be okay with it. But... If you doing some shit like this, you ain't consulted nobody, you ain't really talked to your mama about it, 
I can't really see that she would be accepting of that. Okay? Because it's almost like if he's using you to change your name, what other stuff he might put in your name that's not your name? But once it becomes legally your name, you might be stuck with a lot of debt. Because once you get married, you kind of assume the debt that your partner is in. Child support. Have you thought about that? What if something happens and he just exhausts all of his money? But he still want to stay married to you. You're going to have to pay child support. Out for those, what, three kids that we know are underage or under 18? Child, please. Portia, have you really thought this out? Did you go back and talk to Santa Claus? Because we know you ain't consulted the Lord. We know that good, fast, and a hurry. You, you ain't consulted the Lord on this situation. Because you would be doing a lot of things. First, you wouldn't be cohabitating with the man. And giving up all the assets. Before you become Mrs. He already done got it. Why should he buy it? When he's leasing it. He's written it. He's getting it. Okay? Did you consult with your best booskies? Did you consult with Shamil? She could tell you the 411. Did she change her name? Or she acquired her name? But Shamil probably did her research. And she probably was okay with the tradition and this, that, and the third. But we know you ain't did no research. You just smelled money. Saw what he was trying to show you physically. And you went with it. I'm like, girl, we need to go back to the square one. All right. Because we don't know. It seems like you just wear your Christianity, religious background when you feel like it. You just put it on, put it off, put it on, put it off. Okay. But did you ask PJ? Because if PJ going to be in a situation, what if Simon's mother fell very ill and he had to go home and he wanted to take you, like, fly on off to another continent to take care of his mom but he wanted you there as well as pj do you think dennis and mama uh gina is gonna stand for that girl you need to talk to aunt bertha you need to go on over there to candace house or uh, go on over there to her get get her get your address aunt bertha's address from candy and go sit down and let aunt bertha school you since it don't seem like no other elderly person is trying to school you they're trying to force you push you into a marriage that if anybody can see is doomed okay because this man is keeping up with social media in the wrong ways when he should be conducting business intended to his own affairs but he's paying attention to what people say on his instagram account he's looking at people's videos and trying to go <clears throat> like restructure or put things out that we said we didn't see and he should have to make those opticals look right and presentable for the naked eye. But Portia over here talking about she's uh, shopping for some outdoor furniture. Well, we can clearly see, baby, you have enough outdoor furniture out there now that looks fairly new. Child, child, child. Portia, are you for real, girl? Are you for real? That's what I'm asking. Have you been cloned and we just looking at somebody else and you tied up somewhere in the back and can't get out? You know that movie Get Out? And that um, other movie uh, that uh, that author did, right? What was his name? I think it said Them or something like that. It was a horror, horror flick, but they were replacing the good people with the bad people. You know what they say? Uh, what's above is so below. Um, your evil twin, you know... Uh, you know your good side your bad side but uh yeah i just don't understand i don't understand you're moving too fast for me portia you're you're moving too fast for me girl i can't get up and understand where you're trying to pull me to okay because all of it just seems crazy you're so crazy and my CeeLo green voice girl I'm like, can you stop in the name of love before you break somebody's heart? Stop, girl. Stop to love with Luther Vandross, girl. Get to know this man. Get to know this man. But we're going to break on down 
to an article I had from BET.com. And they were talking about this same predicament that I am trying to understand myself, okay? And I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. Highly educated. But Quina cannot crack the code of why this young lady is looking miserable, tired, sick, and through. This is probably what she feel in the inside. She's screaming for somebody to save her. And I'm like, Portia, Portia, we're here, we're here. Open up your eyes and stop looking for the surprise, the glitz and the glamour. It's all for show, baby. It's all for show. You're going to have to wake up to this brother every day. You may become his caregiver sooner rather than later. But anyway, we go over to uh, BET.com. We had a author wrote this up. I can't really find it or who did it. It says maybe by Tweety E. But anyway, they titled it, Portia Williams was given a new name by her husband-to-be while staying in Nigeria. He had been trying to think of the right name for me for many months. And I'm like, Portia, 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 that is your name. He didn't rename Fallon, and he called himself Loving Her Too. All right? But going back to the article, it says Portia Williams has been given a new name by her husband to be Simon Gobadia. The busy author and reality star recently took to Instagram to reveal the new name bestowed upon her by her doting fiance. And fans cannot stop swooning over the sweet gesture. What is sweet about that, people? What is sweet about this woman knows nothing about this man, but that she thinks he has some money. And I'm like, wow, he giving her some made up name that he done got out of a Cracker Jack box put the ring on it put it in her head that this is your name you're gonna use it but you know nothing about his finances where they what what where they do that at Portia where do they do that at girl but going back to the article it says let me introduce you to you in uh, let me introduce you all to God's gift. Can't pronounce the name. Don't want to mess it up. Because it seems to be very ethnic and beautiful. But like I said. You got to show me the finance. Before you try to refinance my name. Or reappropriate my name. Because right now my name is Portia. Portia Williams to you. If you're nasty. Okay. But anyway. It says thank you to my husband to be. Who gave me this new name while in Lagos, Nigeria. Williams shared via Instagram post on April 10th. But my question. Did you go see his mama? Did you see his mama while you were over there girl? And he was trying to rename you. I mean it's all of this for aesthetics. It's all of this just trying to stay in the blogs girl. And then you're going to do a 360 turn. And be saying oh y'all didn't work it out. He had this going on. He had that going on. Okay, I'm just trying to play it out in my head. Alrighty. <clears throat> it says, Williams went on to explain the significant meaning behind a name with Nigerian origin. She explained, he had been trying to think of the right name for me for many months. However, it wasn't until we were in his homeland that he looked at me after hearing the name E. And said, that is your name. That is the name I shall call my future wife. God's gift. I'm like, okay, and this is the same man that's putting the Lord's name in vain by saying something spiritual and then he cussing at the end of it. Is that what we're doing here now, Portia? Girl, let's go back to elementary school. Let's go back to elementary school and learn our ABCs and our one, two, threes. Because the shit is not adding up, Portia. I'm just saying, the shit is not adding up. But going on, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum is clearly living her best life with her bae. Williams went on to count her blessings. I thank God daily for this beautiful life and humble to be able to live in peace and love and every day. She continue to love you, baby. Now, one thing I got to say, forget all that baby shit. Forget all that renaming shit. Do he have some life insurance on you, girl? Do he have any health care insurance on you, girl? That's what I want to know. I need to, for him to go get a physical and let me see what kind of damage he has done to his body. That I might have to be around him, wheeling him around. Okay? 
losing my good time and my good years trying to babysit his behind when i already don't want to stay at home with my daughter because i'm a jet setter so here you go you got your daughter on one side you got him in a wheelchair uh, uh, what, what are you gonna do girl what are you gonna do florence nightingale girl what is you gonna do Woo, let me drink a swig of water because the glitz and the glamour only glitz and glamour for cer a certain amount of time then the rust set in then it gets dull and it gets boring okay and we already know you can't do boring so what are you gonna do girl what are you going to do these are the times where you need to sit reflect and just ask the lord to give you guidance okay because i would love to see you happy love to see you married to this man if that's what you really want because to me it just seems like it's a rush job you're rushed and trying to get them you took them for somebody else so you know karma is a real big joke but the joke will be on you girl the massive joke will fall down on your lap if you got this man the wrong way okay because karma comes back and she bites the hell out your ass if you don't inf infringed upon somebody for the negative okay it comes around it's coming around quicker it ain't wasting no time these days you get your come up and quick now it used to be a time where you didn't get it so quick or it happened to somebody else you love that not necessarily impacted you directly but you got some sins on your hands girl that you haven't answered for or answered to but to tell you the truth Valen probably saying good riddance honey he's your baggage now thank you jesus you know what i'm saying so she might have tossed it out and, and felt like you didn't infringe her anymore at all because she has the love of her life and she's moved on and moved on she has okay but that's all i have for this particular video guys you like it love it gotta have more don't forget to subscribe to the channel that's right subscribe on now subscribe to the channel we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go all right and we do wish portia well even though her haters come over here and say this that and the third we don't want her to crash and burn hell she done did that twice once with cordell stewart and another one with dennis mckinley okay because she's too rushified she gotta have this gotta have that gotta have this that way not this way you know what i'm saying and it all just turns up to be a big flub so my question again portia are you single baby are you ready to mix and mingle or are you ready to be with father time and everything that comes with father time aging arthritic stuff not wanting to move and go places that are loud uh can't drink no more you know he like to drink you know because the organs are failing and stuff like that and yeah are you ready for the dentures Portia? you're gonna be dipping his dentures in the cleaning wipes and all of that kind of stuff you're cleaning him off because he done boo-booed on himself he need to be cleaned up and wiped up are you ready for it girl because it's almost like you got another infant you're gonna be taking care of because it doesn't seem like he's keeping himself in good shape you know he's drinking that brown look every time we turn around and he's smoking them cigars and those two are the main killers of black people but i don't say it enough and i ain't got no more so i am gone i will see y'all next video Bye-bye.